Hi, Dr. Jill. When are you going on your trip? Next month. I'm very excited about it. What will you do? We are going to visit my family in Arizona. We made plans to rent motorcycles and drive around the desert. Wow! You're always making fun plans. You know, John, I was thinking about how my plans connect with grammar. How so? In English, we use a few common structures to talk about plans, events, and activities that are in the future. Right. Like verb forms will and be going to. That's right. Notice I said we are going to visit my family in Arizona. I could also have said we will visit my family in Arizona. You also used the structure make plus a noun phrase. As in, we made plans to rent motorcycles. You should probably make plans for getting out of jail. I know how fast you like to drive. Don't worry, John. I won't get caught. There's another area in grammar we should talk about. Phrasal verbs. That's right. Phrasal verbs play an important part in discussing future plans and activities. Pick up, meet up, check in, check out, call off. That's right. So we've explored these key areas for talking about future plans. Will and be going to, make, plus a noun phrase, and phrasal verbs. How about your next trip, John? I just came back from one. That's another phrasal verb. Come back. And that's Everyday Grammar.